Hey guys, not a cop here, and today's video is going to be a fun one. I've scoured the internet to find some of the most common duty vests you'll find being used by security and law enforcement. So let's get down to it and find out what your vest says about you. Now number one is going to be the plain Jane. If you're rocking this tactical uniform vest, then you value professionalism with functionality. You may be plain, but you know what works and what doesn't, and this definitely works. Load bearing coupled with a classic uniform touch, you're ready to protect and serve. Now number two is going to be the Kydex King. No matter the vest, if it has molly on it, you're slapping Kydex on every inch of webbing. Plastic is your kink, and if any type of gear is nylon or leather, your answer to that is a look of disdain mixed with disgust. You don't mind the uncomfortable feeling of your gear pushing into your body while wrestling a suspect to the ground. You look like a king with your $75 handcuff case and $50 OC holster. Now the third one is the organizer. Everything has its place and every place has its thing. Your vest is a masterpiece where every pouch and every piece of gear is placed with the utmost care. You've painstakingly found the perfect placement for each item over many shifts of trial and error. You even zip tie them down after looping the molly through the straps to make sure that nothing's even an inch out of place. That way, if something's going down, you know exactly where it's at. Number four is going to be the hot mess. Unlike the organizer, you just don't care. You find a random strap, put on that new Amazon purchase on the vest, and then go back to playing COD and drinking bang before your night shift starts. It's not like anyone's going to see you anyway while you're eating your big bite in the 7-Eleven parking lot working on last night's reports. Number five is my hips hurt. Your department doesn't care about your long-term health. They only worried about not being intimidating because Karen keeps submitting complaints. That's why you get issued a uniform vest with zero load bearing capabilities. So my advice to you is you better save some of that OT pay for belt suspenders and a chiropractor because you're going to be medically retired well before you reach that minimum requirement to qualify for your pension. Number six is community outreach. You're brighter than a traffic cone with these reflective vests on and your job is to pretty much go to schools and conduct dare classes. You really haven't worn your duty belt in like four months and you've traded in your ticket book for a sticker book. You go around telling people that you asked for the assignment to this division, but let's be real, you did something on patrol that got you periodically rocking the McGruff costume. Number seven is the imposter. If you're wearing this, I'm 150% certain you're pulling people over with amber lights hastily attached with duct tape and suction cups to your decommissioned 2006 Chevy Impala. You've got a Taurus G3 stashed in that holster and a Kimber pepperball gun in that back pocket. You probably watched my previous video on how to be an imposter and ran with it. You may be fooling the mother of three that you have illegally pulled over, but you're not fooling any of us. <laughs> you're whacker. Number eight is, I just came from home. Now, you're just sitting around, enjoying your day off, when some dummy decided he needed to cause a scene that requires more hands than what's on shift. Your sergeant calls you, says that you need to get here quick. So you grab your kit leaning against the gun safe and speed on down. But by the time you get there, you're understandably angry because as you were driving down, you kind of remembered all the TikToks of cops chugging a beer and telling their sergeant, sorry, I already started drinking. Number nine, I work at the jail. Now, you've spent most of your time working in the county jail dealing with inmates and only being armed with OC spray and possibly a baton, but once in a blue moon, you get called in to help out at some event in town. So you jump at the opportunity to finally put on your duty bill and use that blue label backup Glock you bought three weeks after graduating from the academy. Unfortunately, your department only supplies you with concealable vests. But, no worries, you found some compromises on Amazon. And finally, number 10, the Molly Maiden. You don't discriminate on material, but as long as it's a Molly accessory, you're going to find somewhere on your vest to put it. You have a strong hatred for placing pretty much anything on your duty belt, and elect to place everything onto that load-bearing vest. It's amazing how one can actually fully utilize every strap of Molly, but somehow, Somehow, you make it a game of tactical Tetris with gear placement. So that was just 10 examples of vests, and trust me, there are many more. So expect more videos just like this one in the future. 
I've had a lot of fun making this video and full disclaimer, several Leos assisted me in some of these and they came up with some really good jokes. Also, if you have any suggestions for vests for future videos, you can submit them to my not a cop email located in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed the video and remember to have fun, be safe, and make good choices.